Back with another story this all new at 11. A Northern Virginia mother reached out to us wanting to share her story. She says her daughter was really struggling with her mental health and needed help. But the mother claims that help was very hard to find in our community. She drove about 200 miles, taking her daughter all the way to Norfolk. Casey Nolan caught up with this mother a short time ago in Prince William County. What's the last week been like? It's been hell, honestly. Deb Shaw says it started early last week when she called a crisis response team to her family's Prince William County home to help her 11 year old daughter who was in a mental health crisis and talking about suicide. Because of bullying and that's something our kids face daily. The crisis team recommended the ER and when Shaw and her daughter arrived, she says the doctors agreed that her daughter should be admitted, but there were no pediatric mental health beds available. So they sat and waited for three days. We sat in that ER room from Tuesday to Friday. With no help, no services. No mental health care during that time. Shaw says she started calling other hospitals looking for help. Um, anywhere from northern Pennsylvania down to North Carolina. They all said they had no room. They all said they had no beds and I could do nothing to help her. The lack of available beds for children in a mental health crisis is not a new problem here in northern Virginia or across the country. A 2022 report by the American Psychiatric Association found the demand for child and adolescent psychiatric services has increased while the supply of inpatient beds has decreased. It's been the hardest week of my life. Shaw eventually found a bed for her daughter hours away in Norfolk. And after a week of inpatient care, she says her daughter is now home and doing better but she worries about other families in similar situations. Somebody needs to take a stand and provide for these kids because the parents are trying, but there's nothing available. Casey Nolan, WUSA 9. That should not be the case. We can't say it enough. If you or someone you know is struggling, help is available. The Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is a great resource. You can call it. Call 988, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that number, it's simple, 988. Three numbers that can certainly save a life, and there's no shame in reaching out for help.